It is just gonna sit in your closet, abandoned, never to be seen again, because you're gonna deliberately choose not to wear it. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. As we've been approaching this colder weather and the start of a whole new year, when it comes to simplifying and refreshing your wardrobe, the absolute best first step is to declutter. Now the best way that I have found to do this is to place a large box in your room and start weeding through your closet. Focus on keeping items in your closet that are more simple. So to do this, you can lean more toward colors which are neutral and hold on to more practical pieces, especially pieces that are multi-purpose and can be worn in various ways and for different seasons. So for example, a longer dress can be great for the summer, and then in the winter time, you can just add on a layer like a sweater or a cardigan, and that will keep you warm. Also sticking with neutrals helps you to mix and match without having too many variations of the exact same kind of clothing. Investing in key pieces in the long run will save you more money because that way you won't be going through multiple rounds of the same item. Now I tend to gravitate more towards cardigans than sweaters because I tend to get warmer more easily. Although I do own a few sweaters, but especially for like the spring and fall months when it's just constantly going going hot to cold, depending on the type of day, or if I'm busy and I'm just getting warmer. It's just a lot easier to take on and off throughout the day. Now, one tip that can really help you to do away with a piece is that if you find it is just so uncomfortable after the very first time that you ever wear it, you will very unlikely choose that piece again. Otherwise, it is just gonna sit in your closet, abandoned, never to be seen again, because you're gonna deliberately choose not to wear it. You'll have horrible memories of the uncomfortable way that it felt the last time you wore it. And yes, we do sometimes choose fashion over function, but in this day and age when loungewear abounds aplenty, we tend to choose comfort over everything else. Now, when it comes to making your choices easier, I find that by setting up an outfit by pairing things together, like a vest with a shirt, or a dress with a sweater top or cardigan, can encourage you to wear it more because you can visually see exactly what you would wear that outfit with. Now, when it comes to the holidays, we tend to buy things that are more festive, like certain colors and patterns, and then you only wear it once because it's only appropriate for that occasion. So my advice would just be do not ever buy something if you feel that you will only be able to wear it once. Also, never buy a jacket or a sweater that is too thick. You won't wear it as much because you'll remember how hot you always get whenever you wear that thing, and then you'll end up getting rid of it. So if you're like me, stick with lighter fabrics if you have to wear long sleeves. Now, if you're the opposite, you can get those long johns and you wear those to your heart's content. Also, I have really embraced really looking for more feminine patterns and cuts and colors. It just feels good to make a little bit more of an effort and feel lovely and put together. Now, if you're gonna wear a dress and you don't have a crop sweater to go on top of it, here's a little hack for you. Grab a belt, tie it over your longer sweater and keep pulling until it covers. I do this all the time whenever I have a sweater that I love and I love the color, but it's just not quite the perfect length. After you've decluttered, you will notice how good it feels to just get rid of things. And then you can look at your closet and you're not just standing there for like hours trying to figure out what you're gonna wear that day because you won't have too many options to choose from. The more simple your wardrobe, the easier it will be to pick out your outfit. Every day you'll be picking out a favorite outfit because that's all you have in there. All right guys, so let's get into my minimalist wardrobe. Now I am a busy mom, so I like to keep colors and styles simple and as functional as possible. The color that I gravitate the most to is black as it's the easiest to pair multiple colors with. I usually pair my black button down skirt with a cropped or tucked in sweater. I have a wonderfully soft tan cashmere one and this beautiful green one, which my husband just bought me for Christmas this year. If I'm feeling more casual, I'll pair my cashmere with a pair of comfy black joggers or I'll top them with a denim button down or another comfy sweater. I love a blue and white floral dress, which I'll pair uh, with a white or light green top. This basic black dress is also a go-to for me with a ruffled sleeve. And if I feel cold, I'll just throw on a cardigan on top, usually my red or green one. This black and white mini dress is a new favorite of mine. I love the polka dots, and this can easily transfer from summer to fall or winter by throwing on a more colorful cardigan on top. My denim jacket is definitely another staple in my wardrobe. I wear it with most of my skirts and dresses for a more casual look. I have a long green skirt as well as a black and white patterned skirt that I particularly like to pair it with. And of course, just a basic black tee on top. You could easily do this with a white tee as well. 
I definitely find that I can wear my black tee with most of my skirts. I have another one that has an orangish brown polka dot detail, and in the winter, I'll top it with my brown sweater, and then I'll tuck that in to stay nice and warm. I do the same thing with this brown floral skirt. I love that button down detail in the front, and I'll use that cashmere sweater on top to match the beige in the skirt. Blue and white also pair very nicely with beige. Then in the spring, I'll mix it up a little bit with slightly lighter blues and whites. This dress has a nice white button down detail with stripes and depending on if it's summer, I'll top it with a white tied tee or if it's like early spring and still a little bit chilly out, I can pull out a white crop sweater to top it with. This blue and white dress was an Amazon find that has a wonderfully comfortable and stretchy fabric. I like to use a black crop tee to top a red and white patterned skirt or dress. This dress has been one of my favorite finds as it's been incredibly functional and comfortable for me to perform most of my daily chores, whether I'm doing dishes or a load of laundry or outside watering our garden. I never have to worry about being dressed for the task. When it comes to the evening, I always reach for a long, comfy cardigan to top my incredibly soft black joggers and a pair of slippers to end a long day. And when it comes to shoes, I keep it totally neutral, always beige, whether it's flats or sandals or boots, so that it matches everything in my closet. Occasionally, I'll wear a neutral hairband or claw clip for my hair, and then I have a brown belt for dresses or pants. And if I have to go out in the cold, I have one green coat, one beige hat, and one purse for special occasions and a fanny pack for day-to-day -day outings, both brown, of course. I also keep my jewelry incredibly minimal and usually stick to either studs or these small gold hoop earrings. And I always wear my gold miraculous medal wherever I go. All right, let's get back to it. Now, if you need to, you could use a clothespin and label it with each day of the week to decide what you're gonna wear the next day. And you can just decide that the night before. And remember guys, keeping our wardrobe simple is a great way to keep ourselves detached from worldly things. We wouldn't wanna love our clothes more than we do the Lord. Matthew 6, 25 reminds us, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? So dress yourselves as a temple for the Lord and be lovely for him. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my next video. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to check out my minimalist playlist. I'll have it linked for you below. I share a lot of tips that will help you declutter and simplify your life in this coming year. It's always a good time to adapt some good habits going forward. Let me know what tip was most helpful for you. What's the best way that you have found to declutter and simplify your wardrobe? Head down to the comment section and let us know and hit the bell so that you're notified the next time I upload a video. I'll see you then. Peace and blessings.